from axe throwing and winter wrestling to ice canoe races and the jolliest mascot in the world. There's no event on earth quite like the Quebec Winter Carnival, an annual festival held in Quebec City, Canada. Here, the only thing cooler than the freezing weather are the drinks, the snacks, and the endless parade of shamelessly Canadian festivities. Oh, and also there is an actual parade. Running annually for the past 66 years, the Carnival de Québec is an epic celebration of French-Canadian culture, and one of the best times to visit the city. So grab your toque, your red flannel, and layer all the way up, because I'm taking you on a journey to one of the most magical events that Canada has to offer. Be sure to hit that like button if you're excited, and let's cue that cheesy intro. What's up, Smarties? Christina here from HappyToWander.com. If you're new around here, this channel is usually all about traveling Europe. But today, I'm whisking you away to the French-Canadian province of Quebec, where maple reigns supreme. For more travel videos just like this one, be sure to hit subscribe. Before we get started, it's time to pick this week's postcard winner. Every week, I give away a postcard to someone who comments, so congrats to Olivia, this week's winner. And if you want a postcard of your own, comment below with your favorite activity showcased in this video. Now let's get to it. Here are 10 unmissable things to do at the Quebec Winter Carnival. Number one is to try your hand at all sorts of fun Canadian activities. One of the best perks of Carnival is that the purchase of one ticket, known as an effigy, gains you entry to most of the festival's activities. And when it comes to these delightfully Canadian activities, you are indeed spoiled for choice. From trying your hand at axe throwing, to racing downhill in a tube, there are plenty of fun experiences and games to take advantage of, including a mini golf course naturally with hockey sticks and a net. And while not included in the effigy price, the toboggan slide O1884 near Chateau Frontenac offers one of the most scenic toboggan rides in the country. It's $3 per person, but completely worth it for the views, especially if you can convince a friend to drag you up. A second must do during the Quebec Winter Carnival is sampling all the delightful French-Canadian treats. The most iconic treat of the festival? Maple taffy, which consists of hot maple syrup poured over snow, then rolled up with a stick to make a delicious maple candy. It's an experience that's one in a million. Sweet Tooth should also head straight for the bright red beaver tail truck in the Lado Zone, Quebec, where you'll find one of the country's most beloved desserts. These quintessentially Canadian treats are slabs of fried dough topped with yummy toppings ranging from simple sugar to decadent combos of fruit, spreads, and candy. I warn you, they can get a little messy, and they do wreak havoc on your waistline as well, but really, who's counting? On that note, if you want to completely abandon those New Year's resolutions, Carnival offers plenty to eat, from fried donuts to fondue-filled baguettes you'll probably never go hungry. But you might get a little doughy. The number three must-do of Quebec's Winter Carnival is to take advantage of the festival's awesome open-air ice bars, where you can get all kinds of spirits and concoctions served to you in ice-cold glasses, made of actual ice. These ice glasses are the perfect vessel for various drinks and can be found in a few locations around the festival site at Le Campageau and the Zone Lotto Québec. One must-try classic is Caribou, a quintessentially Québécois drink made up of red wine, hard liquor, and some spices and sweeteners to amp up the taste. The result is a sort of mulled wine concoction, served hot or cold, but maybe best in a glass of actual ice. You can also indulge in a Bonhomme Cosmo, which is a shot of vodka flavored with special red Bonhomme syrup, 
Or for something a little warmer, there's also a hot drink known as the Ponce du Carnaval, which comes in a lovely souvenir mug and offers a few sips of glorious relief from the cold. From ice bars to ice palaces, the number four must do is to explore Benam's Ice Palace, an impressive structure of snow and ice that takes thousands of ice blocks and weeks to create. This majestic palace is an icy home fit for our ultra cool mascot, with plenty of awesome activities to take advantage of. You can slide down on a full on ice slide, Play a competitive team maze game called Labyrinth. Or enjoy the immersive magic of Pixel, a new experience for 2020 that brings you through a time warp of old school games and tunes. But of course, nothing compares to number 5, which is meeting the legendary Benam in person. Benam is an enduring symbol of Carnival, found all over on signs, merchandise, and souvenirs. After making his first appearance in 1955, over 60 years later, Benam looks better than ever, with an epic Instagram account to boot. In addition to appearances at special Carnival events like the parade, he also hosts multiple meet and greets each day, where you can get your own photo taken with him and even score some one-on-one -on -one time. Don't hog him though, needless to say, he is one popular guy. Our sixth Quebec Carnival must do is enjoying the vast entertainment program. For the entire week and a half of the festival, you'll find special performers taking the stage, including folk dancers and musicians, and even winter wrestling, which really put on quite the show. I personally felt cold just watching them. But if you do get too cold, that's no problem, because there's always option number seven, cozying into a nice warm chalet. You'll find two chalet locations on the Carnival Festival grounds, where you can warm up with a drink, some food, or even cozy in for a performance. There's the Chalet Unibrew in the Campageau with a simple menu of warming treats, and the SAQ Chalet, which even has a cozy fire and a full bistro menu with classic comfort foods like poutine and French onion soup. Your eighth must do at the Quebec Winter Carnival is to watch one of the most iconic events of the festival, the ice canoe races on the St. Lawrence River. I warn you, you might get tired just looking at them. But you can always rest up with another low-key icy must-do. Number 9. Admire all the ice and snow sculptures. You seriously will not believe what these sculptures can do with ice and snow. If you, like me, struggle to even draw a triangle, the sheer artistry and detail of these will blow you away. Besides Benam's iconic palace, you'll also find various ice sculptures around town, particularly in the Petit Champlain neighborhood, where a cartoon-themed promenade of ice sculptures can be found for 2020. You can even book special workshops to make your own, or watch the pros work their magic live. Which brings me to number 10. Last but not least, your final must do is to watch the nighttime parade, which takes place on each Saturday of the festival. From folk dancers and hip hop dancers, to appearances from Banam himself. This is one dazzling parade with impressive floats that are well worth freezing for. So let me know in the comments if you'd ever like to visit Carnival for yourself, and if so, which activity you'd like most. Thanks for watching Smarties! If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel videos just like this one. Until next week, bye! <laughs>
Oh, oh. Woo! Christina! 